Breaking news, breaking news for Julian Assange. 18 count indictment just handed to him today. 18 18, uh, count indictment by a grand jury for Julian Assange in the Eastern District of Virginia. I have the indictment. We'll take a look at it. So 18 counts. So what's going on here? Is this... This is uh, Trump's Justice Department crosses new line. These are the headlines. Charges Assange with publishing U.S. secrets. Right? First Amendment, right? The right to the right to disseminate the right to free speech and freedom of the press is now in jeopardy under this president. Now we thought that that the the war Trump's war on the media, declaring the the media the enemy of the people. It's just, it's just. This is, this is a twist out of proportion. This is something so, so despicable, so despicable. I mean, this is. So here we go. I'll read some of the headlines, and then we'll take a look at the uh, actual indictment. Trump Justice Department crosses new line, charges Assange with publishing U.S. secrets. In a stunning escalation of Trump's admin, administration's. War on the press. The Justice Department has indicted Julian Assange, founder of WikiLeaks, for revealing government secrets under the Espionage Act. Oh, no. He's charged with 18 counts of the Espionage Act. Each one carries a 10-year sentence. So now Julian Assange went from looking at five years, right, for for, uh, computer, you know, whatever, getting involved, trying to... In the, the first indictment, and now it's 18 counts of the Espionage Act, 18C, whatever it is. I'll, I'll read it in a second when we get there. Uh, the indictment charges Assange with 16. No, it's 18. I, I saw it. Uh, 18 counts of receiving and disclosing materials leaked by Chelsea Manning. All right, so that's number one, right? There's nothing new in this indictment. There's nothing that involves anything after... 2011. All of it is now, but 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 the new tone of this uh, uh, indictment is conspiracy. It's conspiring to solicit the information from Chelsea Manning. See, at first it was that that was a gray area. So this is unprecedented, really, because what is solicitation? If I'm, for example, in New York Times, the 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 uh, it's a it's a given that. I'm soliciting information from the public so that I may publish it in my publication. But for, for now, but now Julian Assange has not been, I guess, is not acknowledged as a publisher, which is just outrageous twist of jargon bullshit. New U.S. charges against Julian Assange could spell decades beyond bar, behind bars. WikiLeaks founder charged an 18-count 18, 18 DOJ indictment. Wow. Just just stunning. Stunning stuff. Julian Assange could face decades in U.S. prison after being charged with violating the Espionage Act by publishing classified information. So here's the indictment. It's signed by Zachary Terwilliger. Terwilliger, right? That's, that's uh, Trump's guy, right? Here he is. Zachary Terwilliger, right, uh, appointed. He's the uh, an American attorney who currently serves as the United States Attorney for the Eastern District of Virginia. Assumed office May twenty fifth, two thousand eighteen. About one year ago today, Donald Trump appointee. I, I don't know what to say. You know what I mean. So here's the here's the um, here's the the accu- the the accounts. It's definitely eighteen. I counted them, and you go through one through I think forty points. Uh, I skimmed them, but mostly it's all it it, it all pertains to to um, Chelsea Manning and the leak that Chelsea Manning provided to Julian Assange. But again, it it talks also about this the most wanted leaks of two thousand nine where Julian Assange would go out and they would have conferences, hacker conferences, or conferences where, in effect, he is soliciting information, but that's a brand of publishing. That's all it is. Right? There's no way around, there's no sidestepping. There is no precedence for locking up a publisher under these circumstances. So this is, this is Trump blazing new ground to, 
you know, lock it up, lock up Assange. And when you think about what Julian Assange did, Julian Assange revealed to us so many crimes that happened inside of the DNC. Right? He revealed, he dumped that, that Podesta's emails and he showed us that the elections were rigged. Way, I mean, of course, be, before that was what he had, uh, this indictment mostly talks about the Guantanamo leaks, um, leaking the stuff of the Afghanistan and the, uh, and, uh, the Iraq war crimes that, that uh, our troops uh, committed while there. It, it makes it the case for you put our guys in danger, right? By you releasing unredacted information, you put our guys in danger. But look at the people. You killed a million people in Iraq. You killed a million people in Iraq. Who knows what's going on in Guantanamo? Who's the, who's the prisoner? All of these secrets, right? All of these secrets that the United States has. That's what Julian Assange revealed to the world. Right? And so now we're, I mean, you could just, you could read it for yourself. It's just, it's just, uh, I don't even know what to say about this. It's, it's all Chelsea Manning. Um, his, Chelsea's uh, uh, ability to obtain the classified information. It's the same as the last indictment. It talks about Julian Assange giving, giving Chelsea Manning a little bit of a, uh, a coaching on how to crack you know, crack the code or whatever, giving him password uh, assistance. But it's just a reiteration. This is exactly what Assange had said would happen. This is exactly what the WikiLeaks uh, people and WikiLeaks lawyers had said, that once Julian Assange is secured, that the Trump administration would jack up the charges. And that's precisely what they did. Now, why? Why would you? I mean, Assange was instrumental in exposing the Clinton campaign for for the crimes, for the for the leak, for for rigging elections in America, shouldn't we have exalted this guy? Shouldn't we be? Shouldn't shouldn't he be a a, a national treasure, a national hero? But, but no, that's what Trump said. You remember when Trump said, "I love WikiLeaks, I love WikiLeaks, 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 WikiLeaks." He must have said it four hundred times in his uh, on in his speeches while he was running for president. How much he loved WikiLeaks. And respected what WikiLeaks was doing, but now that this president is in power, he found finds it necessary to to prosecute in a way that has never been seen in 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 such a overreaching manner that uh, this country has never seen. Uh, Julian Assange now faces eighteen counts of espionage for publishing. Information that to this day, prior to, was never illegal to do. The New York Times does it. The Washington Post does it. All of the major media outlets that anyone with this sort of information could could obtain, those are the outlets historically uh, that would get the information. But in this case, it was WikiLeaks. So WikiLeaks is now in that category of 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 uh, amazing, exalted. Um, Publishers, right? So again, there's, I guess, forty points here. You release secret information, secret level, secret level this, secret level that, right? Forty-five, forty-six, right? So there's forty-six points in the indictment. It's thirty-six pages, and uh, I'll go on. I'll go more into it as the days go by and see what how the how the media is going to spin this because it's just out. It's just breaking. And uh, the counts are conspiracy to obtain, receive, and disclose national defense information, count one. Count two, unauthorized obtaining of national defense information. It's just, it's just factually incorrect. Un, unauthorized obtaining of national defense information. Unauthorized obtaining of national defense information. And it is violating... Um, 18 U.S.C. 379, 379, 379, U.S.C. 371 and 1030. All right, so these are all the uh, indictments uh, on the Espionage Act. It's exactly what Assange said would happen. It's exa exactly. Uh, attempted unauthorized obtaining and receiving of national defense information. 
this indictment now trumps the other indictment. It over, it overrides the the previous indictment now. So it is still in the hands of the British people, the British law, British uh, uh, establishment to decide if they're going to uh, extradite Assange to face these charges in the U.S. He's now looking at 180 years uh, in prison if if they max him out. Like, of course, they probably will if they get their hands on him. So all of these charges dealing with Guantanamo, Iraq, the um, the you remember the videos of the the shootings of uh, shooting the helicopter shootings of unarmed innocent you know people in Iraq. Uh, see we look see we're forced to look at make the messenger the villain, right? Make the messenger the villain. That's the idea here, right? Make the vilify the messenger, Julian Assange who is giving us this information so that we could see it and know just how corrupt our government is and maybe we can we can work to to uncorrupt it or make it more humane and rather than rather than look at the crimes committed in Iraq in Afghanistan the crimes committed against the you know the the American people the D, in the DNC um, hack which probably wasn't a hack at all uh, I mean, to to have someone who has given us this kind of information to be prosecuted in this way is is just ridiculous. I mean, it's it's almost like it seems like it seems like the Washington Post. I don't know why the Washington Post and our mainstream media is uh, defending it, right? Because they uh, they are defending it because it is a violation of the First Amendment. It's clear. Right, it's very clear. If 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 the if this prosecutor under Trump gets that conviction, journalism as we know it is 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 over, because then everything, any kind of solicitation, any kind of uh, presence could be interpreted as in soliciting uh, sources. Like for example, in my box down below, you'll see. Uh, 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 Intel leak, Intel dump. If you want to dump Intel, if you want to send me something, go ahead and send it to me. So, so now that's a solicitation for anything that I might publish, and that if someone sends me something based on the fact that I, I allowed people to send me something as a, since I'm I'm setting myself up up as a publisher of information, then I would be, uh, I could be tried under the Espionage Act. Right, I mean, it's it's really it's 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 unprecedented in um, in American history. So we'll see how this unfolds. Marcus Conti reporting: Julian Assange has been indicted on six, 18 new counts of espionage, and is now facing indi- uh, extradition for those charges. Marcus Conti reporting.